Okay, I want to talk about another, what some people might think is a silly idea, but that results in a really good golf swing. Okay, so what I'm talking about is we all know that when you swing a golf club, your hips turn and your shoulders turn. Okay, so the one thing that people don't realize is the hips and shoulders do not turn on the same plane, right? These sticks are getting closer together, and then these sticks are getting closer together, which means my hips are turning on a much flatter plane than my shoulders are. And as human beings, we generally think of ourselves vertically. So when we think of turning the shoulders, and if we actively think of turning the shoulders, we often turn them very flat because that's how our hips are turning. And if we're turning, well, we're doing it in one piece. Shoulders and hips together, but they don't turn like that. The spine becomes kind of a universal joint where, you know, we end up here, the hips are, are fairly level, but the shoulders are very almost vertical. And so, as silly as it might sound, A good way to actually achieve this is to try not to turn the shoulders. So I know it sounds funny, but if we simply think of swinging the club without turning the shoulders and keeping this right shoulder back or retarding this right shoulder from coming forward, what it does then is as you release the club, this shoulder goes down and turns through properly. So, the interesting thing is, by thinking of not turning it, it actually turns properly. And so, I'll show you from the side. If I think of not turning that right shoulder through, keeping it there, and I come through, I'm going to come through like that. But if I think of turning my shoulder through, oftentimes it'll come way too high. And if that shoulder comes in high, that ball's going left. So if you think of retarding the right shoulder, keeping it back, you will release the club properly and you'll be in the proper spine tilt through impact. And it's funny how sometimes trying not to do something actually makes us do it properly because when we're trying to do it purposefully, we actually end up doing it wrong.